little boy relationship. Yeah, <laughs> right? it is. It's Where a mother-child dynamic, which is not working. And, and you're, if you're his mommy, then he's going to run. But yeah. at the same time, I feel like you're making him into daddy because you want him to build your self-esteem by complimenting you. Is that right? Yes, your communication okay. is just lousy. I'm sorry to be that blunt, but mm -hmm. you need communication skills and tools. I think you have a chance at making this work uh, for a much longer period, but you're both avoiding each other. You're stonewalling, which means you're not being honest about your feelings. You're not communicating much at all. She's angry, and I don't blame her. So, and the, the criticism and contempt, it's adding to the problem. The jealousy is just the icing on the cake, honey. What about Mallory? Is she cheating no, on Justin? No, Mallory's not. not cheating on Justin. But she kind of yeah. likes to make him jealous a little bit, right, Mallory? I do. I mean, because I'm like, you know, when other guys notice me, yes, it feels wonderful, but it would feel so much better if my husband would notice me. Yeah. I mean, if you would go out of your way yeah. to tell me whenever I spend time to get ready, yes. so you think I do look pretty, it would just mean so much to me. Good. Good. Why don't you try? I mean, like, when I get ready, he says, oh, well, you look good. And I'm like, well, how's my hair look? Does it look good? And I would say, I'm having a pretty day today. And he just kind of stands there, yeah, you look good. And I'm like, that's not what I want. I want, oh, you look sexy or something, you know, mm -hmm. something that I can feed off of. Well, stand up right now. Right. And you Keep just going. face your man. <laughs> and I want you to tell her something, Dustin, from your heart and from your spirit and from your loins. <laughs> <laughs> what you're feeling right now when you look at your woman. Now, I love you to death, and I would never cheat on you at all, ever. And I love you with all my heart, and I would, I'm never going anywhere. And tell her how she looks. <laughs> and now, so you told her about her stay standing, you told her about her insides. Now I want to hear about the outsides. This in and out of beauty, honey. Well, you're beautiful. I mean, there's no, I mean, I don't look at any other women. And I, look her I, up and down, Dustin, I and, look, and I talk about what you see. About you. Tell I us really what you do. see. I see a beautiful woman. What specifics? Wife. You see breasts? Like, what do you see? Yeah, I love every single part of her body. Everything. I mean, from head to her toes, and I love it. What else? Head and toes is not sexy unless you're sucking your toes. What else? You like her booty? I like your breasts, your booty. There your we go! Your butt. Sexy kiss, we'll be right back. <laughs>to our audience. Uh, what's your question, Monica? Um, my father's a convicted murderer, and he's, he's serving a life sentence. Unfortunately, I witnessed, I believe I've witnessed my father at a young age commit a murder. Uh, I worked up the courage about a year and a half ago to ask my sister and my brother, and they, re they remember the same, recall the same thing. Um, an Afri a young African-American man, except I remember a knife. They remember a shotgun. In addition to that, my mother took us away from my family, that side of the family. So about uh, two months ago, I recently reconnected with a family member, and my aunt informed me that uh, we were, in fact, there inside the house when he did murder somebody. Um, my question really is, I would like to know more details in regards to that memory and as well as how, my, how, how many other people did he murder. Okay. Okay, so, so your dad sorry. is... So sorry. He's in jail for yeah, murder. Yeah, he's in yeah. for life. Okay, good. I'm glad he's in for life. I... Amen. I feel like, yeah, mm -hmm. we feel there may be as many as seven murder victims, and I'm sorry to have to tell you that. But I think you were prepared to hear that. Yeah. And you're very psychic, so that you, you're picking up on a lot of those murders, shall we say, in your dreams. And your brother, you have a brother? Yeah. I and he's very, very psychic as well. So you guys are really, really intuiting what may have happened. You've worked on forgiveness, though, have yeah, you not? I and did. I think you've done a great job. But you were there. You were there, yes, and you, you did were. witness it. Yes. And your brother witnessed another one. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm another sorry. one. I think there was a gun involved with one and a knife in yeah. another, correct? Okay, so, now let me ask you, was it age three or seven, please? 
I, you, I don't I don't remember how old I was. Like I just really remember young. a yeah. knife and someone at the front door and yes. and they rem recall something different. Okay, so what happened was it was so traumatizing and so scary for you that you blocked the memory and that's common. Yeah, so you could carry on with your life. You can't carry that kind of trauma as a child. Do you so talk you to your father? Do you visit I went him? to see him about two months ago and I freaked out. I had a panic attack. I couldn't even be around him for maybe Imagine. 20 minutes to half hour. I had to get out of there. <laughs> yes, because you're very sensitive. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. His energy is very dark. Very toxic sweetie. energy. Should she and continue to try to uh, to visit her father or should she just not? No, I wouldn't. No, no, we don't recommend that she visit him. You do not need to be around a relative that's that toxic and yeah. that disturbed. Absolutely. But it's okay to write a letter. Yeah. You can, you write, can write a letter to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That might help you therapeutically to get through this to and get heal. Closer. Sure. Is okay. there a film you're working on? Or I'm working on a book. Okay. Wait, so, how do you guys know that? Yeah. I mean, I forgot. Wait. <laughs> <Slide> <laughs> <in>. <laughs> yeah. I really forgot for a second. Okay. So you're working on it. So you knew that she was working on something. You knew she was writing yes. something? Yeah. <laughs> writing, and I see a possible film coming. And I think that's going to be very cathartic for you, sweetie. Thank very you. cathartic. And then, after it's done, let it go. Just let it go yes. and move on with your life. Yes. And good you're luck. Obsessing good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Like we have one more. Next one. Hello. I've lived in two different states, Washington, D.C. and North Carolina, and strange things keep happening around me. I've had doors open. I've had cups slide across counters, blinds fly open. I've heard footsteps, and I want to know who it is. They've never tried to harm me. Three different houses? Me, three different houses. And, and three different towns? All three houses. Okay. Okay. in two different states wow. so i'd like wow. to know who it is because they don't try to bot scare me they yeah. just let me know they're there so i'd like to know yeah. who it so is they're just and what chilling they want. Yeah, they're just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> you know people always think it's going to be like ghost whisper or medium or something like this where it's really scary and people are ugly and burn victims and it's nothing like that most spirits are very benign they're they're neutral they just want to let you know they're there because they're trapped did you did your mother pass did you say yes because because she comes in around you with a message of love and she's been visiting you there are the electricity goes on and off in your house correct and yes. something with the doors yes. in the house I, when the, i moved into my yeah. second house i went through and opened all the doors when it was time to leave i went back to close the doors and all the doors were open the same amount of space yeah that's oh, yeah. happened to me too yes. we have ghosts all the time in our house yeah. there's a way that you kind of it sounds crazy <laughs> but we do but your mom and she's not the only she's not haunting you or anything no. your mom is around you with love but the ghosts you can get them to leave you can talk to them and say go into the light and imagine white light and imagine them going into the white light and then you can say this spirit no longer has an earthly connection. So is this yeah. spirit is a different spirit than there's my mother? Several. There's several. Yes. Yeah, there's several spirits that kind of visit you and even follow you. It's Can not she a say, thing. all of you guys go to the light except for my mama? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, that, your mother's, in the, your light. mother's in the light. Your mother's okay. not trapped. She's, she's not trapped. Not, yeah, that's an earthbound spirit. Those, she's not earthbound. These ghosts, they are lost. You can send them. You're a healer. So they're there to, they're attracted to your life. To your life. How many of you guys lighting? believe in ghosts? Yeah, everybody. Yeah. And how many people? How many people do not believe in ghosts? Okay. More people than not. Some believe. skeptics. Some skeptics. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I believe in cats for the friendly ghosts. Yeah. I like that cartoon. We'll be right back. <laughs> so you have a question for our twins. What's your question? I do. Um, I have a three and a half year old son and. Uh, his father completely fell off the face of the earth about a year and a half ago. It was uh, November of 07. And um, I was just kind of wondering, you know, we weren't together, but, you know, why did he leave? Why hasn't he wanted to have anything to do with his son? And where is he? <laughs> what happened to him? First of all, what's your name? I'm Lauren. I'm sorry. L Lauren. Lauren, okay. Yes. Uh, we feel that he left, I think, because he was insecure and couldn't mm. handle the pressure of a family. Yeah. It was too soon for him. He was not ready for that. He was terrified. Uh, I'm getting West Coast, West Coast, he's, he's, California. He's in California. That's California. where I live with him. That's okay. San Diego. Oh, really? You, yeah. And he's still there. Yeah. You knew that. Yeah. Yes, you I, could well, find oh, actually, him. Actually, I don't know. Where okay. He is. We feel you can find him. I think you yes. could find him. I don't know that you'll make it work at all. Because, oh, I don't want to make it work. Yeah. Good. Good. 
it's but, not good. But it would be nice to contact him and just maybe have him be a little bit in your child. Like life? a child support or check? a child support yeah. check. You got it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what I'm looking yeah. for. <laughs> okay, Terry and Linda Jameson's book is called Separated at Earth. Um, and we're, we're going to offer follow-up counseling to all the couples that we uh, helped today on the show to move on with the news um, that you guys have shared with them today. For more predictions from the Psychic Twins, go to tyrashow.com. Y'all are going to blow up the website again.